We can see here that it is kind of a mess coming out of the wall, all the audio. Okay, we are left with this uh, stuff. And pull my wire over to where I'm gonna repair a bad splice over there. we are up in the closet right now where we are going to be doing all this work we can see here that it is kind of a mess coming out of the wall all the audio cables and power cabling all right we're back in the closet here with our audio setup we got some labels refills for my label maker now we are going to go ahead and start testing all the wiring i see some of it is actually disconnected and then labeling everything and notice a long time ago i put pins on these so you don't have to use the bare wire on it and we're going to test all these other ones so on the front eight says utility i don't know what that actually is let's see if i can pop it with the battery All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make a label now for this. Camera was locked up. Okay, we are left with this uh, wonderful stuff. Right now, we got all of our wires all labeled up, except for two sets, which we will have to do when we have another person to help us. All right, we need to take this door off. This is coming off for good. Doors off. Okay, welcome back this morning. It's Sunday and we are going to work on this closet because we have a lot of electrical to figure out. There's a bunch of places where we need to get power in here and fix some old power problems. Going to try to see where the studs are in here. Let's see. There's a stud right there. There's a stud here. That also sucks. All right.
All right, this first trip is just recon. I won't suit up for this. All right, of course the camera overheated, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill through the cap right here and pull my wire over to where I'm gonna repair a bad splice over there. They aren't gonna be able to see this part, it's just drilling. All right, a little update from the audio closet. I did get all of the wiring ran. I ran one Romex there and one down there up here to power everything in the bathroom. And that's kind of a good place for it. Also, if I need power up top somewhere and down there, obviously, because regular power at the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the wall boxes and the receptacles for both of these guys right now. Let's get busy. One of the wall boxes right there. It's just a standard two gang and we have some nice USB receptacles for this thing right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bust out these, one of these uh, protective things so I can get my wire through. They're really hard to do once the box is in the wall, but you just literally push this in just like that. Your wire goes right through there. And if you do it ahead of time, it makes it way easier. But yeah, we, uh, we have a mess down here. We probably need to clean first before we start doing anything. I'm gonna grab the shop vac. Got all my tools in my work bag right here that I need. Power still off. That's it. Just take the people.
All right, guys, a little update. We got a lot of work done today. We got our electrical run up here. We got our electrical run down here. Pay no attention to that one thing. You didn't see that. We cut out our wall for our LED strip that's gonna run along this edge right here. We got everything cleaned up and we're ready for the next step. And that is our shelf will be delivered tomorrow. Our audio shelf is like a tiered audio rack. And I need to know if it's gonna fit or if I have to take off. Well, it'll be this trim. There's no trim over here. Oh yeah. I might not even be able to get it past that. So we got a task at hand tomorrow. We might have to take off this trim, then this trim to get this thing in there, but we will see tomorrow because it's literally 23.6 and this is 24. So it's gonna be really close. That's all tomorrow though. We have to take off trim, we take off trim. It's just the way it is, dude. Yeah, we got all this done today. Look, we got the nice USB plus power outlets there. We got four power outlets there in case we need power up high. We got our Cat 6 ran down there. We got the wall cut so we could run our LED strip power to right here. It's gonna go along this frame right here. And everything came out great and we also took an hour to clean up the entire house afterwards. So guys, we're probably gonna have to move our subwoofer for the whole house down. I haven't figured that out yet until we get our audio rack, but we might have to move it down there, which would probably be ideal. In which case we have to couple these two and drop it because I don't think there's enough length to go down. We'll see about that. We're not going to get that far today. That's where we're stopping for right now. 